Hi everyone, it's our Bunsu, also known as Chris here from electriccarconversionblog.com and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to install or mount this uh, turf tyre onto this go-kart rim for, my, for the electric go-kart. Now, this go-kart rim, got that from uh, Edwards Cartwheels, slightly smaller, or sw slightly uh, narrower here and I believe the os offset's a bit different as well too compared to a normal race go-kart uh, and also the tyre here uh, it's a turf tyre or something like that and the re reason why I want to do this is that I can I can do a bit more testing like uh, off-road off or like in my, in my backyard where I've got grass and I need more uh, ground clearance the only thing is this is not a tubeless tyre it's got a tube in here already so uh, it's going to be a bit Bit, bit trickier to uh, for me to to mount uh, compared to a normal go kart tire, which is which they're typically tubeless. Now this one's going on the this one's this one's going to be for the front, and the bearing has the ball bearings already been uh, installed, and you can see uh, one of my other videos on on how I did the installation of the ball bearing into uh, this uh, go kart rim. So other things I've got, I've got, uh, I've got a bit of soap, and I'll need that at certain points, uh, just to make it easier to put the rim on. I've also got a uh, bicycle pump, just to, uh, because at certain points I want to, like you know, uh, pump a bit of air into the tube to give it a bit of shape. I've got this little uh, expired welding rod, and that's just so that I can, in case I need to release some air. Uh, so yeah, I'll just. Just I'll just I'll just uh, press the valve there and you'll release a bit of air there. Obviously I've got my obviously I've got my safe got my safety glasses on. Uh, they're important because in case something pops out, uh, who knows what. Yeah, so I'm just going to get started now. So first things first, I've got the this is the this is going to be the uh, the part of the rim that's going to be. Uh, towards the middle of the go-kart so and what I've got to do is when I install when I install it I've got to make sure I'm not pinching any anything here especially the tube we don't want to pinch anything in there the other thing also to, to take note is uh, the, the location of the of the valve the valve's going to be coming at a certain at a certain angle and 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 we just got to make sure that that uh, it's that we don't have it on the wrong side. So I want it. If I'm going to put the rim in this way, I'm going to have the hole coming out here. I want the valve coming out out here. So what I'm going to do is just got a the tube's already inside the tire. So I've just got to carefully do one one bit at a time. So I'm going to get this part. And get that, get that inside. Get get that inside, inside here somehow. And I've just got to carefully do it. So if it gets a bit tricky, well, I might just apply a bit of soap now, just to make it a bit easier for the rim to get in. So, okay, I've just got to be careful that I don't damage any anything from the tube. It can be a bit tricky, so. One bit in, so now what I've got to do is I've got to somehow get the tube, got to get the tube in around here now, around the around the, the this part of the rim. So just got to carefully feed it in, carefully feed it in. Okay. 
I look here, I've, I don't have the tube quite where I want it to be, so I've just got to carefully feed it in without without damaging anything at the same time. I want to make sure that the tube is not is not going to be pinched on the bead on between the bead of the tire and and the, and the lip of the rim. So I really really want to make sure of it. So what I'm doing is I'm just rotating the the rim a bit. Checking as I go along. What I might do now is so I'm slowly getting it in there. Okay. I'm just checking with my thing, it's a bit hard to see on the camera that tubes inside the tyre, but, yep, okay, I might give it a bit of air just to give it, just to give the tube a bit of a shape, but not too much air, if I give it too much air we just release it using like just a little thing to press into the valve. But yeah, just gotta Okay. Okay, I'm, I seem to be able to I seem to have uh nothing seems to be pinched in there. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to turn the whole assembly around and I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to try and get this bead on the inside or tr try and mount, mount the rest of it onto the rim. So we've got, we've got one part of the tyre uh, within the rim, now we've just got to get the other part of the tyre within the rim as well too. So apply a bit of soap to the bead here. Which you can't see on the cameras. I'm just checking, checking that the that the that the tube is not going to get pinched anywhere. So now it seems to be okay. I'm just trying to get the. Okay, I got it in. I got it in. So yeah, it was. I just sort of forced the the tire over the over the rim. So now the tire is within the rim. As you can see, the tire is within within the rim. What I'm going to do is, as a check, is I'm just going to spin the spin the spin the rim like so, just to make sure nothing's nothing's getting caught. Um, obviously I've got to check the tube. Okay, I just want to make sure the tubes tubes in there. Okay, now what I've got to do is I've got to feed the I've got to feed the valve into the into the hole there. Okay, and the next step what I've got to do next is I'm going to pump it up. Now I'm not going to use the bicycle pump to do it. I'm going to use an air compressor. That way, it pumps up quicker. Um, I can also, um, I can also, uh, when you use the air compressor, you just uh, um, the the bead here will will go against the lip. Then it'll, it'll, it'll be a nice fit. So yeah, I'm just going to do that next. <laughs> 